In this video tutorial, I'm going to discuss how you can use dynamics with BBC Symphony Orchestra. I'm using Logic, but many of these techniques are applicable to any other door. The most common way of changing dynamics when using our libraries is to use a mod wheel on the MIDI keyboard. Simply move this up and down as you play in the notes. If I wish to make changes to the dynamics data that I just recorded in, I can do so by switching the track to automation mode by pressing the automation lane button. To see the data in the line, we'll need to switch the track to region mode and then select modulation from the drop down. You can now see the MIDI CC data that I just wrote in using my mod wheel. We can edit this on an individual basis by moving the dots or we can highlight and delete to rewrite the data in manually. Double click to bring up the automation line and click on the line to bring up the different automation points. As I increase the height of the automation line, I'll create what's known as a crescendo. This means the instrument will get louder. As I decrease the line, I'll create a diminuendo. This means the instrument will get quieter. Let's listen to what it sounds like. If you don't own a MIDI controller or you don't like to write the data in manually, there is a third option available to you. By switching to touch mode, we can now record in the movements of the fader using the interface. In order to see what data we're writing in, you'll need to now switch automation from region to track. If you go on BBC Symphony Orchestra, select the relevant fader from the drop down. As you can see, one of the issues presented when using touch mode is inconsistencies in the MIDI CC data. This can be edited by moving the dots along to delete all the individual dots and will save you CPU. I recommend doing this also to make the transitions sound a lot smoother when playing back the library. Let's have a listen to how it sounds now. The final thing to remember is to switch the track mode from touch to read. This means if you move any of the parameters on the plugin afterwards, you won't overwrite the data that we've just written. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast, or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question, and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks, and exclusive Spitfire content.